hello and welcome to today's video i apologize if you can hear the fan but we are currently having like the hottest day so yeah this video is going to be a 48 hour reading vlog my goal is to read as much as possible within the next 48 hours i chose 48 hours rather than 24 hours because i want to sleep and i feel like with 24 hour ones i am always very tempted not to sleep and just try and read through but then that like <laughs> affects the rest of my days um so yeah 48 hours reading as much as possible there are four books on my like proper list that i want to try and read three of them i've got physically here and then one of them i've just got on script and these three also all have audiobooks available for them so yeah that's the basic plan if by some miracle i do read all four and i've still got time left it is currently like 12 o'clock but it's actually three minutes past now i was a bit late sitting down but it's currently midday on saturday the 13th of august and i'm hoping to just keep this up until midday on monday the 15th of august that is the plan i'm going to be bringing you along anything i do i will film um, and I'll also film updates on the books. They are all either standalones or first books in series, so I can like properly talk about them. I won't give away spoilers or anything, but I will give like full thoughts and feelings. And yeah, the only plan we've got for today is to get the house clean. Uh, maybe I'll film a bit of that. I think it would probably be quite boring, but maybe like you know, inspiration hits. I'll film a bit of that as well but yeah that is the basic plan read for the next 48 hours and bring you along on the journey so yeah what are the books so the books i've got access to on script is the empress of salt and fortune i honestly don't know the description of it i suppose i could get the goodreads page up the reason i'm actually reading this one is just because it's got is it a rabbit or a hare on the cover something like that it's for one of the iridium prompts because the magical reader font's going on this one so yeah a young royal from the far north is sent safe for a political marriage in an empire reminiscent of imperial china her brothers are dead her armies and their war mammoths long defeated and caged behind their borders alone and sometimes revealed she must choose other alloys carefully rabbit a handmaiden sold by her parents to the palace for the lack of five baskets of dye befriends the emperor's lonely new wife and gets more than she bargained for at once feminist high fantasy and an indictment of monarchy this evocative debut follows the rise of the empress in yo who has few resources and fewer friends she's a northern daughter in a mage made summer exile but she will bend history to her will and bring down her enemies piece by piece so there we go um it sounds interesting it's like a short fantasy i like fantasy i'm always willing to give a fantasy book a go especially when they're this short i think uh according to goodreads the kindle edition of this is 119 pages so really not long and yeah that is book one book two is animal farm if you want to read it read it but essentially this is just george orwell uh animal farm quite a classic my lunch has arrived thank you <laughs> Jay's brought my lunch up um yeah so that was animal farm book three is carmilla which is another classic actually today how little classics i read i've put a couple here uh, but they do both have audiobooks which i do find really helps me um in an isolated castle deep in the austrian forest laura leads a solitary life with only her ailing father for company until one moonlit night a horse-drawn carriage crashes into view carrying an unexpected guest the beautiful carmilla so begins a feverish friendship between Laura and her mysterious entrancing companion, but as Carmilla becomes increasingly strained and volatile, prone to eerie nocturnal wanderings, Laura finds herself tormented by nightmares and growing weaker by the day. Predating Dracula by 26 years, Carmilla is the original vampire story steeped in sexual tension and gothic romance. And yeah, the reason I picked this up is because it predates Dracula. I wanted to read it. It's got really good reviews the last couple of years. And I'd never seen it in person before. So when I actually saw it in person in a Waterstones, I just couldn't read this. And then the last book that I'm like hoping to get to, bear in mind, I think I'll start all of these books. And I definitely think I'll read the three that I've already shown you. But then this one is one that I can just read as an audio book. And like, I'll be able to just focus on it no matter what I'm doing. And this is Will. This is the autobiographical 
book by Will Smith. But yeah, this is just about Will Smith's life and yeah, I thought it looked interesting. We got it like before Christmas, I think. Um, you know, like the book section in Tesco, but around like Christmas time and any other like, you know, like summertime, they'll have it for like summer holidays and stuff. They normally have like a book section where they're feature books for like particularly cheap prices. So I grabbed it from there. So yeah, I'm gonna read this as well. So those are the four books that I'm really hoping to read. It is now 10 past 12. I am going to eat my lunch and decide which one to start first and then I'll come back and check in as and when. chapters into Will. Um, it's good, it's alright. All I've managed to do in that entire time is tidy the bedroom because it is so warm. Like I literally have like the fan just on me. Um, but the bedroom's tidy. It's a start. It's something. Um, and like the book's been alright to be fair. Like whilst I've been reading it it's been entertaining, it's been good, like it's an easy listen. Um, I do have difficulty like rating and like having true thoughts and feelings on this because like this is someone's like life um you can't really rate someone's life so i tend to just give them all five stars unless you know they're particularly problematic which i haven't come across yet they all just get five stars yeah it, it, it's been a little preachy there was a whole chapter where church and god was mentioned a lot but like it annoyed me but it didn't like it didn't seem preaching in a way where i was like for fuck's sake like this is going to be what it's about it was just annoying because it was so much of it religion's part of his life like i get that i just wasn't expecting it so i hope there's not much more of that but yeah like so far i think we're still at the point where i think he's like just started high school so you know we're pretty early on in life we're hearing stories about different things and it's good like it's entertaining but entertaining seems like the wrong word because like it's someone's life like it's not there to entertain me um but i'm, I'm finding it interesting and yeah like it's a good time it is now half past two i think i'm gonna brace myself and go up and sort the office out even though it's the warmest room in the house but i think if i don't do it now i'm not gonna do it so uh, that is the plan. Maybe I'll record a few time lapses because it might actually be interesting because it is such a disaster zone. Okay, I thought I'd do a check-in. It is now half five and I've just finished chapter seven of Will. Up to chapter eight now and I'm about a third of the way through. Uh, I am still listening just via the audiobook and I've listened to five hours twenty and I've got ten hours fifty one left. So pretty much a third of the way through exactly. I listened on two times speed. I thought that this would be one that I could just listen to normally because like it's just someone speaking. Like he speaks for a living. I don't know if audiobook companies like purposely slow the speaking down or what, uh, but I have upped it to two times speed because it was just so slow. I, I don't know, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it and I'm having a lot of like just 
fun, chill time listening to it as I'm going. I think, however, I might swap to a different book. Basically, I need a break from cleaning. So I'm thinking of sitting down for a bit and reading that way. Uh, what will I read? I do not know. Maybe Carmilla? Yeah. I think I'll at least give Carmilla a start. See how I'm feeling about it. See if I can get into it quickly. And yeah, that is basically the entire plan. I do have some fun stuff planned for tomorrow, which is why I really want to get this cleaning done. Because we, we are going in, like out tomorrow. But yeah. So far having a really good time and just having like a good reading time in general really like everything I've done today is kind of centered around reading first so yeah I'm really really happy about that Okay, so I've read two chapters of Carmilla. It's all right so far. Uh, nothing special, like I was expecting to really like love it straight away. Wait, it's okay. It's also started at like a different time than I thought it would. I'm pretty sure, I don't know what I thought she was 19. Like, it doesn't actually say it here, so I'm not sure if I've seen it in a different synopsis. Uh, but I thought when the main story happened, she was like 19-ish. Uh, I'm not sure if she's going to be younger than that, or if it's just starting it earlier and building up to the main part of the story. I'm not sure, but so far, like, she's only really a kid, like, the main character. So, yeah, I don't know. I will read more of it, but I think I'm going to put the will book back on and get some more cleaning done now that I've had a rest and relax. So, yeah. Hello. So, it is now half nine, so I've got an update. I've showered, I am less gross and sweaty than before. Uh, and it's still like 30 odd degrees up here. I am now halfway through the Will Smith book. I'm not really enjoying it. Like, it's just a bit boring for a lot of it, which is fine. Like, it's someone else's life. Like, it's their life. I'm sure if someone was looking at and reading my life, they'd be bored. But, like, I just wasn't expecting it. And, like, it's not boring content. I just don't really care. Uh, which I wasn't expecting. Like, I can remember growing up watching The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which, to be honest, the main reason I picked it up. I don't really know a lot about Will Smith outside of that. But I've read a few, like memoirs or autobiographies whatever you want to call them this year and i've really enjoyed them even ones where like you know i, I read michelle obama's uh biography and it was really really interesting like i really enjoyed it and like i literally knew nothing about her except for the fact that you know she used to be the first lady and like is married to obama so yeah like i just thought if I was remotely interested in the person, I'd find it interesting. Like, I'm not going to give it a low rating or anything. Like, you know, I'm going to finish the book and I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. But, yeah, I guess I need to be a little bit more specific when picking, like, books like that out. Because it turns out they're not all going to be interesting. Like, I'm enjoying it. Like, it's a fine thing to listen to. I am really glad I've got the audiobook. I don't think I would have continued, like, reading it. Uh, just because there's so many words for everything. Uh, there's a lot of songs in there. There's a lot of musical things that I think I'm only tolerating because I have the audio, but basically, yeah, like it's still a fun time. Like where I'm at now, we've just got to like Fresh Prince like era. So it's interesting, but like it, it's not really um, flowing very well. Everything is quite split up and all the chapters like have quite a jump between them yeah like it's fine i'm happy reading it because we're cleaning and i, I like an audio book that i don't need to also have like the book next to me 
Teddy said a long to when cleaning and like I really find that biographies are that especially when the person who wrote them narrates them because like it's their story it's like just listening to like a long podcast or something so yeah def definitely like gonna finish it but I don't know yeah I'm just not feeling a lot enough I honestly thought I thought I'd be enjoying it loads I thought I'd be enjoying it more than I am and I guess I'm just a bit disappointed with that okay so I've read a little bit more of Will and a few things that in the start of the book I'd kind of like put aside I was like oh he's young like things will change uh especially due to how he treats his um like romantic partner in a way that he thinks he controls them i don't want to judge but let's just say f there's been multiple lines in this of things that he said to said romantic partner at the time and i'm like if someone said that to me i would be fucking out of there like what um i'm really hoping it's addressed later on uh i don't know how old he's meant to be right now but i feel like it's old enough to know that this isn't okay like he's just demanded that his like current girlfriend at the time stop smoking weed and saying it's not okay and all this and that and it's like that's her decision not yours um there's there's one earlier on about wearing certain clothes and i was like but I ignored it and I tried my best to ignore it and then there's another one about like oh she should be so thankful to be with me and I was like I ignored it because I was like I think he was only meant to be like 17 at the time and I was like oh, okay like it should be addressed because he was addressing a lot of the things that he was doing wrong but none of these things have been addressed yet so I really don't know if this is like going to be but it's very concerning like for me it definitely does not sit okay so yeah I thought I'd mention it. This is actually ridiculous. It's got preachy, and then it it's done another like, oh, women are like this, like, oh, I'm a warrior, like. I'm actually getting annoyed at it. I I didn't expect this book to go this way, and I don't know if I can be asked of it. I really don't know if I can be asked of it. Oh no. I'll give it a bit longer. I really hope it picks up but like I don't want to rate it badly like this is someone's life story but this is annoying the shit out of me I I don't know oh yeah uh, I've never not given a book like this five stars before but right now I can't imagine being okay given this five stars um I don't know if I want to continue I, I want to continue because I want this to be addressed but the way that it's currently being spoken about like he's writing this as an adult he's choosing to include it and not correct it straight away being like oh don't worry I know so I'm just a bit concerned and then obviously like it got preachy again so that's annoying like nowhere in the uh synopsis for the book does it mention it's going to be religiously I don't know. Um, I'll give it a bit longer, but I don't know. Hello. Okay, so I was gonna like write an update on Goodreads, but I ran out of character, so I thought I'd do an update here. I'm literally just gonna read what I was gonna write. So this may not make perfect sense because it's like written as I speak, but hopefully it'll make some sense. I'm actually hating this book. I'm going to continue for now as I'm hoping that Will Smith will realise how problematic the things he is saying and doing towards and about his various romantic partners are and address it as at some point. But the further in I'm getting, the less likely this seems. It is also so fucking preachy, I hate it. So yeah, I also don't know how I feel about giving an autobiography slash memoir less than five stars. As this is someone's life, who am I to judge it as less than? But there is no way I can currently give this book five stars. The feelings I'm getting from this book and the thoughts and ideas I feel it portrays are just so wrong I don't know what to do. I'm tempted to DNF. But I do want to know where this goes and will he turn out to not be this person he's currently coming across as? 
there we go those are my thoughts this is the book yeah it was previous year in hollywood all weekends are knocking the fourth of july was the most coveted slot of the year it was where the studios put all of their makeup okay so i had like nine ten hours sleep it's almost midday which does mean we're approaching the 24 hour mark uh which will be like halfway through this i will do a tally up of the pages at that point but i'm still trying to read this and it seems so good at parts and then he says something i'm just like you are actually such a dickhead uh, what is it what has he even just said that was like so stupid it was something about boys being raised and i was just like for christ's sake um and that's pretty consistent throughout it i'm like no this is getting better and then he says something else that's just like for fucking like oh yeah really not impressed with it and I, i'm just really struggling to understand to be quite honest i do not get it i i don't get it honestly he doesn't seem like a very good person i don't think i would get along with will smith and i don't think he seems like a very good person and that is the vibes i'm getting from this book uh, if I wasn't just reading it as an audiobook when doing things, I don't think I could deal with how crap the book is making me feel and think and all that jazz. But yeah, I'll, I'll come check in about 12 and do a tally of the pages and kind of my thoughts and feelings of how I'm moving forward. So, yeah. Okay, it is quarter past 12. We are about to head out, but... Uh, I thought I'd do a quick 24 hour check in. I've currently read 346 pages, which is less than I thought I would have by this point, but oh well. Um, yeah, I'm not really enjoying the one book, which I think is a big part of it, but I'm taking my books with me, and if we get a chance whilst we're out, I may even read. We are heading into Beauty, um, and there are quite a few seats by the river, so we might even do some reading by the river. But yeah, that is it for now. I'll take you along with, and. Hopefully, we'll get a bit more reading done. so we are home and absolutely no reading done and it is now five almost six hours later it is almost 6 p.m so yeah i guess i'll just check in as and when i really don't know if there's much more of a plan for today i'm just here i'm about getting stuff done we'll see how this goes <laughs> Without even a conversation. Daryl related to fighting. He broke my heart. He never told me why. In terms of my relationship with Jaden, filming. Well, this was absolutely dreadful, but I have finished it. I have a thought a lot about this. I'm gonna give it three stars. Do I think it deserves three stars? No, not at all. If I felt comfortable doing so, I'd probably give it one star. But I don't like I've only ever given like autobiographies or memoirs or anything like that five stars before um i can't in good conscience give this five stars because he made a problematic shit in here and i hate which i hated it but i think three stars is relatively fair and i'm going to write a fairly in-depth review on goodreads to kind of explain my thoughts and feelings so yeah i'm gonna put this on the bookshelf sort my goodreads out and then i'm gonna head downstairs for the evening i think with a couple of books and just get some reading done it is now it's one minute to 10 p.m on sunday evening so i should probably head down soon set up have a couple of hours reading and go to bed so that is Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna start Animal Farm. I'm not really feeling anything right now, so I figured 
might as well give this a start see how i'm feeling i think it's meant to be quite a quick and easy one oh, obviously there's a lot of content inside it and stuff but the way it's written i think is meant to be quite digestible so yeah that's what i'm gonna go with and i'll just give it a go i think i've read the first paragraph of chapter one already and i was like yeah i could get into this so that's what i'm gonna do no sprint starting in 20 minutes i've got them on the tv the uh full moon readathon sprint so i'll pop those on i'll read this and i'll have a good time jeff is doing me on his little poops over there he's having a groom i've got my knitting set up for if i want to do knitting whilst listening to the audiobook i've got a fan for a little bit try and keep me cool in this heat wave and the little boy is also chilling out watching there we go little boy you being good so yeah that's the plan i will check in as and when i'll definitely check in before i go to bed with a end of day update as obviously tomorrow at 12 that'll be the 48 hours over but yeah having a good time having a fun time Okay, so I'm still like reading this um, and I've just got to chapter six and it's, I'm really interested in it, I'm really having a good time. So chapters one, two, three and four were very chill, very fun um, and I was just like enjoying them generally. But I was, I was still able to think like this is fun because this is animals playing around on a farm but like holy shit like if this were humans like the thought process would be so different so that was that but like that was all i really thought about it. like this is fun this is interesting i'm having a good time reading i'm glad this is animals and not humans and kind of understanding the difference and then chapter five happened and i was just like wow okay this is happening shit's getting real shit's getting serious and I feel like you can really see like the points that this book is like wanting to talk about and wanting to make people understand and how like shitty politics is in general. Um, obviously I'm not going to go into detail, I don't want to like say spoilers or anything. But yeah, I feel like chapter 5 really turned it around into like this book is serious, like this book isn't just fun like you need to stop thinking about this it's just like these cute little animals and start thinking about this as like if these were people this is a bit utter shite like these aren't just cute animals these are portraying like real things that could happen in real life that do happen in real life like yeah i'm really enjoying it i'm finding it really interesting and i'm really happy because i i, I have a lot of resistance about picking classics up so the fact that you know like i'm reading this it's a good time it's a fun time but i'm also finding it interesting intriguing and like really being able to think about it whilst reading it yeah really good I'm really happy i'm reading it so yeah i'm just going to continue so i've just got to the end of chapter six i am starting to feel a bit like this is getting a bit stupid now um 
like not in terms of the animals but obviously i know that there's like more of a political side of this and more of like you know like this is humans essentially it's just done in an animal way to express it i don't know it's difficult to talk about without spoilers but essentially i just feel like it was really drilling its point home until the last thing and then it was like no like that last thing is actually a bit ridiculous like maybe it wasn't when this book was written May maybe it wasn't but i don't know like that'd be something i need to look into but i feel like that last point that it's just tried to make right at the end of chapter six has made me feel a bit like uh, okay yeah a bit overboard now like write it in you do you really good at making your point no not so much but yeah i'm gonna keep reading i'm still so enjoying it so yeah okay so um next day now i've got one chapter left of this so i'm definitely gonna sit down and finish this but then i'm only on chapter three of this and it's quite chunky like i don't know how much more i have to go so i'm gonna have a look once i finish this how much time have i got left do I continue this and keep reading this or do I move to the other book that I haven't even started yet? I'll make my mind up once I've finished this and I know how much time I've got left. Okay, so it is 11 o'clock. Well, it's actually a couple of minutes after now. But I essentially have an hour left. I've checked how long it'll take me to finish this one and there is an hour and a half left with the audiobook. So... I went and checked how long it would take me to read the other book, the one I haven't started yet, The Empress of Salt and Fortune, I think it is. Um, so I went and checked that. The whole book is an hour and a half. Also, please just like excuse this. Uh, we're still having a heat wave right now, and I obviously slept on my hair last night, and I've sweat so much that it's just attached. So yeah, nice and attractive. Um, but yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> so yeah hour and a half to finish this or an hour and a half for the other one i think i'm just going to finish this because in my head i think it makes more sense to finish a book i've started than to start another book even though i wasn't i don't feel like i'd completely got into this yet so i don't think it'd make like a big difference i think i'm just as likely to enjoy the other one as this one but yeah that's what i'm going to do and it will take an hour and a half so i will be going half an hour over but oh well i woke up a bit later today and i'm not yeah, this is just for fun. It is still 48 hours. I went and hit 49 hours, so yeah, still 48 hours. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get this finished and then I'll check in. Okay, hello. So I did in fact finish Carmilla a little while ago now, but I really enjoyed it. It was good. I'm gonna give it four stars, I've decided. I think it was a fun time. It was an interesting time. I don't think it was like particularly amazing or anything like that but i feel like when i think about the fact that it came out in like 1872 this came out the impact it would have had and like the shock value would have been there and like just because i can't see that now doesn't mean it's not there like you know like we know like vampires are such a major part of like all entertainment and like you know even aside from entertainment they're part of so many like folklore and myths and things like that um that we really know now how to like think about that when it comes to stories you know but often stories won't even say they have vampires in them and you'll like see hints of them and like know that that's what it's gonna equate to and obviously going into this all we knew it was vampire like it says it inspired Dracula. you knew it was vampire but I think at the time you wouldn't have known that it was literally just called Carmilla and I think you know especially towards the end there would have been a major shock factor and I feel like it wouldn't have been obvious exactly what was going on when it was coming out and probably for many years afterwards so yeah I enjoyed it I had a fun time it was an interesting read and I feel like it it would have had such an impact when it first came out that I can't give it anything less than four stars and I had a fun time of it so why not so yeah um that is the end of this like 48 hour reading vlog now so over the last 48 hours i've read three books which totaled oh only 663 pages which yeah not bad but for three books that's not that many each and yeah like i'm happy with that like 48 hours is essentially two days i know i did it over three but essentially two days so that's like 330 pages a day which is pretty decent i had a fun time i've got a fair bit of reading done and i feel like i'm back on track with my like tbr for the month so yeah 
overall had a good time really happy with how this turned out and i hope you enjoyed this i would be interested in doing like more 48 hour reading vlogs in the future i think they're a bit of fun and they're just me reading a bit especially when I need a bit of a push to get going again after like reading certain things like I think they're a lot of fun so yeah uh do give the video a like if you liked it subscribe down below if you don't see more content like this and hopefully I will see you next time bye